There are a few topics that are like catnip for healthcare triage. Vitamin D is one of them. I can't help myself, must talk about it. This is healthcare triage news. To the research. Big huge study from the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology. Systematic review, meta-analysis, trial sequential analysis. This one's got it all. They went to prior meta-analyses because there have been many and then updated the results with another search of the medical literature because they wanted it all. They gathered all the randomized controlled trials of adults that compared vitamin D with nothing, placebo, lower dose vitamin D, you name it. They looked at total fractures, hip fractures, falls, or bone mineral density measured at the lumbar spine, hip, femoral neck, total body, or forearm. They gathered data on participant characteristics, study design, interventions, outcomes, funding sources, and conflicts of interest. They found 81 randomized controlled trials, including more than 53,000 participants. In the pooled analysis, Vitamin D had no effect on total fractures. It had no effect on hip fractures. It had no effect on falls. The results were similar in high-dose vitamin D and low-dose vitamin D. There were no differences in subgroup analyses of doses of more than 800 IU per day. They did these analyses with futility boundaries, which checked to see whether an effect might be in a certain area. For total fractures and falls, the effect estimate lay within the futility boundary for relative risks of 15%, 10%, 7.5%, and 5%, which means that vitamin D doesn't improve things by that amount, and that's relative. For hip fractures at a 15% relative risk, the effect estimate was between the futility boundary and the inferior boundary. That means that it doesn't make things better by 15%, but it might make things worse. WORSE! For bone mineral density of various portions of the body, the effect estimate lay within the futility boundary of 0.5% or 1%, meaning that it didn't even improve things by that small amount. Let me read the interpretation of this study for you, because I can't even. Findings suggest that vitamin D supplementation does not prevent fractures or falls or have clinically meaningful effects on bone mineral density. There were no differences between the effects of higher and lower doses of vitamin D. There's little justification to use vitamin D supplements to maintain or improve musculoskeletal health. This conclusion should be reflected in clinical guidelines. 40% of elderly people in the United States take vitamin D as a supplement. Why? Why? Some people need vitamin D. During pregnancy, yes, Cochrane reviews say so. Asthma patients, same thing. Some people in climates with little sun, especially babies, sure. But most of the people doing this don't need it. Vitamin D level is the fifth most popular test in Medicare. It's right behind cholesterol. I have no idea why. Supplementation doesn't make it better. What does it matter? I'm baffled. Liz Sabo recently wrote a huge article at the New York Times entitled, Vitamin D, the sunshine supplement has shadowy money behind it. Make no mistake about it, there's big money behind this. People make money in the lab tests, people make money in the supplements, there are even weird ties to tanning salons. Quoting again, our findings suggest that vitamin D supplementation does not prevent fractures or falls or have clinically meaningful effects on bone mineral density. Remember that. Hey, do you like the show? It really helps if you like the video or subscribe right down there. And while I've got you, another good way to support the show is Patreon.com, a subscription service that allows you, the viewer, to support us any way you like. As little as a dollar a month or more, or even zero, but we're happy to take anything you can give because everything helps make the show bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz and Jonathan Dunn, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral Sam. Again, that's patreon.com slash healthcare triage. And one more thing, all the good healthcare triage merch is at htmerch.com. Go take a look. And also my book, The Bad Food Bible, still available in stores. Love it if you pick up a copy.